May 27th, SpaceX will set out to make history. The company aims to launch its Crew Dragon vehicle as part of the Demo-2 mission from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Now, this will be a monumental step forward for commercial spaceflight, but it will also be a huge moment in history for human spaceflight in general, as this will be the first crewed launch to orbit from America since NASA's space shuttle program ended in 2011. Now aboard Crew Dragon for this mission will be veteran NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, who will be co-commanders on the flight. Both astronauts have flown on two shuttle missions each and have extensive experience as test pilots. Now, two weeks before the launch, on May 13th, Bob and Doug entered a standard pre-flight quarantine to ensure that when they do launch, they won't be bringing any bacteria or viruses to space with them. That could be harmful. Now, NASA and SpaceX have both been taking extra precautions with regards to safety and pre-flight conditions, as this launch will actually be taking place during the coronavirus pandemic. So in addition to standard quarantine for the astronauts, only personnel who have been in quarantine conditions at NASA or SpaceX will be making direct contact with the astronauts prior to launch. Lucky for the astronauts, this has included members of their family who have been living in quarantine conditions with them. Now the pair are set to take off at just about 4.33 p.m. Eastern Time on the 27th and are expected to reach and dock with the International Space Station on the 28th. They will spend anywhere from approximately one to four months in space and the length of the mission, while it is yet to be determined, will depend on a number of factors, including the well-being of the spacecraft. Now, while on orbit, Bob and Doug will be helping out NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy. Chris has been up in space as the only NASA astronaut, along with his two friends, two cosmonauts who flew up to space with him. Um, and so I'm sure he will be glad to see two familiar faces from NASA up there with him helping out. Now eventually, Bob and Doug will board the Crew Dragon again, undock from the space station, and start to make their way back to Earth. Once through Earth's atmosphere, the capsule will deploy its four Mark III parachutes, which will slow the craft down as it descends into a gentle splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of Florida. After Crew Dragon splashes down, a search and recovery crew, which will already be waiting nearby on SpaceX's Go Navigator ship, will come to get Bob and Doug out of the craft. The ship will then lift Crew Dragon out of the ocean and return both the vehicle and the astronauts safely to Cape Canaveral.